Hi everybody. Uh, tonight I'm a little laid back. Uh, didn't want to dress up for the video. Got out of work and just said, time for dinner. So what I'm making tonight is air fried chicken parm. And I'm going to do it with breadless breadcrumbs that we're going to make ourselves. And uh, I really think you're going to like it. And we're going to also got some fresh broccoli to go with it. So here it is right now. First thing I'm going to do is make the breadless breadcrumbs. What I've got here is a Ziploc quart size bag. And to that I'm going to add one cup of almond flour. I'm going to add a half a cup of grated parm. And here I've got a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and uh, a little bit of Cajun seasoning. So I'm going to put all of that in there, close it up. Do the shake. And we've got our breadless breadcrumbs. This next part I want you to be really careful. If you're not comfortable with a sharp knife, then go and buy some cutlets. But uh, I've got some beautiful uh, organic chicken breasts here. And what I'm going to do is just lay that out. And again, if you're not comfortable with this, get a cutlet. It's, it'll be fine. And I'm just going to cut this in half. kind of watching along the edge. One's a little bit thicker than the other, but that's going to be okay because we're going to use our temperature probe. And again, now some recipes it asks for you to um, pound it flat. And I like, actually like my chicken parm with a little bit of meat to it. It's, it's it's more tender in the middle, and I just like it that way. So, uh, but you do it however you want. So I'm going to bread the chicken now, and the way I'm going to do this, and I've tried a couple different ways, is I'm going to put it in a little bit of gluten-free flour, only because that's what I have on hand. You can re use regular all-purpose flour, but I am going to spank it a little bit. And as you can see, it's a very thin coat, very, very thin. And I'm going to dredge this in the egg. And then I'm going to put it in the breadless breadcrumbs here. And I'm going to coat it pretty well. You're going to need my marinara sauce for this recipe. So if you haven't made it yet, get in there making it. And I'm just going to lay that to the side. So it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to do one more for you here. And then uh, flatten out the flour. And spank it. And the egg. And this is just two eggs with a little bit of water. It's like an egg wash. And then I'm going to put it in the breadless breadcrumbs here. For this one, I've got the air fryer out. I'm going to use the griddle attachment um, rather than the basket. I think it's going to give me a little bit more room. So what I'm going to do is just give that a little coating and drop it right down in there and uh, clean up around the edge here. So what I'm going to do is put the first one right in there and I'm going to drop the second one. And these are these are pretty beefy. This one here is the beefier of the two. So I'm going to stick the probe in this one. Just going to stick it in. 
So I told you before about these, uh, the Thermopro probes. I use this constantly. I mean, I really do. Because the air fryer, like I told you, it's, it can be so messed up as far as timing goes, and they're all different, that I'm just going to insert that into the middle of the, the beefier part. Kind of bring this around the front, and it actually closes okay. So, uh, I'm going to do this at uh, 400 degrees, and eh, maybe 375, I'm not sure. I'll let you know in a second, but uh, I'm going to throw these in the air fryer right now and get them going. Before we start on the next phase, time to sanitize. Got a little bit of Lysol here. I'm always sanitizing. You never know with chicken. I mean, it, it could be... Some of it that's spattered that you didn't see or flipping around, but it's always, it's never going to hurt to sanitize in between. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up the sauce, but I'm also going to chop some broccoli. You've seen me do this a bunch of times before, but again, I love fresh broccoli. And I'm just going to take some of those florets. You see how easy it is? You just find the one you like, kind of get in there. So I'm going to cut what I need for dinner, and I'm going to get the steam basket ready. And this dinner is going to be incredibly easy and off the hook. So. Stay with me. Look at, I mean, look at this. You don't get this with frozen. I mean, this is just, it's going to be so vibrant and green uh, after it's steamed. Six minutes in a steam basket. You can't, you can't beat it with a stick. Now, normally when I get the chicken parm, I usually top it with like a sharp provolone or a lot of uh, Parmesan cheese. But for this, I just want to do some thin cuts. It was on sale. So I want to do some thin cuts of fresh mozzarella. And I ended up doing the chicken. It's in the air fryer right now, but I ended up doing it at 375. And I set it for 40 minutes, but I'm going to watch the, the timer. And when it gets to, I want it to be 165 degrees internal temp. But when it starts getting close to, uh, say, uh, 160, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to spoon the sauce over the top, and I'm going to put the cheese on, which I'll show you. It says the internal temp is 119. So what I'm going to do is bring it over here. It's starting to get nicely brown. And I'm just going to give it a flip. And it's back in the fryer. The temp is now 156. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to flip it again. Oh, it feels crispy on the outside. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And the juices were forming on the top. Back in the oven. We're at 160. I'm going to take some of my homemade marinara sauce, which is just, I've warmed up. And if you haven't done this yet, oh my goodness, it is so amazing. Um, I, I've, I've really had nothing like it before. So, and you're going to have extra sauce. I'm going to put some sauce on the chicken, but you're going to have some extra anyway in a gravy boat or something for people to uh, pour on because they're going to want more of this. And I'm just going to leave the probe in there. I'm going to go right over it. It's not going to hurt nothing. So, I've got the sauce. And then... I'm just going to lay the mozzarella cheese down. 
over the top. You know how I like my chives. Cute little chives on top. And it's going to go back in the oven. Now the internal temp just resting, it's gone up to 169. I don't want to dry it out too much, so I'm only going to put it in for about another four minutes. The whole thing's taking about 23 minutes. And I'm going to bring it over here now. And just for the ease of plating, I'm going to do the one without the probe, and I'll take the probe out later on the other one. But anyway, I've got my my dish here. I'm going to get this crispy chicken parm. And I'm going to place it right down there. And then take a little bit of this delicious broccoli. Put that right down. To the top of that broccoli, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. It'll be a sea salt and pepper. I'm going to put just a little bit of grated parm on there as well. That's going to melt right in. Here we have the air fried chicken parm. Now I'm going to cut into this for you. I'm just going to take a little slice of this. Smells amazing. Stretchy cheese. And the inside of that is just so moist. I mean, look at it. Incredibly moist. It's just dripping. It's so good. I'll take a little bite. I mean, it's just so amazing. Mmm. The sauce, the tenderness, the crunch on the breadless breadcrumbs. It's almost a holy crab moment. I'm just going to cut one more piece here. Wow. Whew. Hot. But, uh, I just want you to see if I can focus in on this. I mean, look at that. It's just so moist and so delicious. And that's all done in the air fryer. Got any questions, send me an email. And I'll be happy to help you. In the meantime, I'm going to weigh this out and uh, get to eating. Have a good night.